Sikha we will be learning will be in the Sikha Shedekites, the first Sikha to Parsha Sre'e. And the Rebbe starts with these words. In the Ashton Posik from the Parsha Re'e and Neche Nesim the Gamer, in the first Posik, in this Parsha, which starts off with the words, Look, see, I am giving you, and the Posik continues, Re'e and Neche Nesim the Gamer, Hayem, Brocha Uklola. I am giving you today a blessing. And they curse. And the posse continues. As a brocha, the brocha you'll get if you listen to me. And the curse you'll get if you're not going to listen to Hashem. So on the first posse, the targum the targum onkulus, the targum onkulus, translates the words brocha klolo, brocha, birchon, ulavotin, which means brochas and klolo, just as they are a expression words for brocha klolo. As if I touched the the word klolo and divided it to psukim. So too, in the other further psukim where it mentions the word klolo, the targum onkelos translates it as ulavotin, which means this is the English, the, the American word for the word klolo. In targum yainus no, but as a targum the word to klolo, in targum yainus, he translates the word klolo in these two psukim, these two psukim, which means the first pasuk where it says, I'm, "Hashem says I'm giving you hayim brachol klolo." And then the posse continues afterwards, you'll get the klolo if you don't listen. So the tag means and translated vichilufa. Lufa means and its exchange. Now that is a the tag mirashalmi in Svetin Posik Kalufaim. Tag Mirashalmi, the second posse also translates the word Khalufaim, which means its exchange. So it touches the word klolo as an exchange, obviously an exchange of the bracha. Tafim Fashtain, so we have to understand the Vosi the Tamashin Tvish and the Sweet Targumim. In an upshot of touch from what color? What is the reason for the difference in the two targums? In targum Yonison, he translates as Chilufa, and in targum Unkelos, he translates as Olavotin, which is a regular lecture color. Nochma is not understood. Besides, just to understand why is there a difference, there's more that we have to understand. But in invited the composite with a color al Haribel, later on the posse, when it says that the color should be given on Haribel. Is the targum yenis and gufa mishane? The targum yenis himself changes from fatayj ravorta klolo nit vefri every chalufa. He touches, he translates the word klolo not like not like he did the first time, where he translated as vechilufa nor melat tayo. With the targum the same like the targum uncles, which is the regular translation of the word klolo, which is a curse. So luchuritz, not only the shaila, what's the difference between targumim in targum yenis and gufa? There's a shaila. What made the change that in the beginning he touches it with Chilufa and later he touches it a regular touch of a curse? Noch is the more in the Targmenism. Also, we have to understand the Targmenism. Number one, Klolo is a musik v'inya farzich. Klolo is an in inya for itself. It's a curse. A curse is a description of something. The Chilufa remained an umbait from afrir di kaninya or the tushkan. Chilufa means it's not an expression of something. It doesn't explain what it is. It means an exchange, a change of what was there before. A previous Indian or a previous situation, and you're exchanging it, changing it for something else. That's number one, the Taich of Chilufa. Number two, Chilufa, Ishaya Vatsvein Yonim was an Andesh Einif and Sweden. The concept of a change, of an exchange, is possible only when two things are different. But the far bite Mezayum, that's when Pshat we're changing. It's not the same thing, so we're changing one for something else. Say, Dafno Barobma and Dachkait Vishnu, but they have to have. A certain similarity, but the far is shyer. They unpike. That's why you could change one for another. But you can't say that you're changing one for another if they're two separate things. Not only two, two opposite things. The bracha and klola, blessing and a curse. We mean exchanging the bracha for a curse. Two the same things which are a little bit different. You could exchange one for another, but when they're completely not connected, completely different. How could you say one is an exchange for the other? And he brings an example. We find it. There's a concept, is that sometimes with Darshan words in the Torah, by exchanging letters, that one letter is an exchange for another letter, another letter exchange for another letter, and therefore, and that comes out a certain pshat. So what's the pshat there? It means that those is by ACS was home to the Zicha Gizek, and If you have letters, that have a similarity in a certain detail. They're different letters, but they have a similarity. Then you say you exchange one for another. And he gives an example. The Zayr says that the word 
by Baruch Hashem, Kvei Machus Leilam Void, the word Void is an exchange from the word Echad in the previous post, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekein Hashem Echad. Why, how is Void an exchange for Echad? So he says, so the devil, the AC is Void, from Mashaycha, so the AC is Echad. The letters Vov, I and Dalet have a connection to the letters of Echad, which is Aleph Ches Dalet. How is it connected? They're Vov from Void, for by them Aleph from Echad. The vov of the word void is an exchange for the letter aleph. Why is there an exchange from vov to aleph? While be designer from the ACS ahavi, they're both in the group of letters called ahavi, aleph, hey, vov, yud. Because this is a group of letters that have something in common. In which way? They're called ACS ahemshech, like we see, he says here in Ahora 5, nimshoch is the viftach reisis haboyis lofneim. They're nimshoch, they're pulled after the letters which came before. They're called Aces Hanayach. That means, as he explains, sometimes they're not even felt when you dis- when you pronounce the word, you know, don't even feel the Aleph Hey Vav Yud. And they're also Aces Hanashime. This is the letters that express your breathing. And it's through these letters, the Aleph, the type of Aleph Hey Vav Yud, that all the other letters could be said, the Dibur. But Akaponim, there is a similarity between these letters. So, Amela, since Vav and Aleph, are in the same group of letters, we could exchange one for another. The ches of echod is exchanged for the ayin of void. Why? There's a group of letters called alef, ches, hey, ayin. There are different groups of letters that come from different parts of the body. This comes from the throat. So there is something in common that the alef and the ches has. So the ches and the ayin, I mean. And then you have the Dalad Rapsi from Echad that's in Dalad Ben from Void. And the Dalad, obviously, the Dalad for a Dalad, they're also different Dalads. One is a big one, one is a small one. In the Echad, it's a big one, it's a small one, but they're the same. Beit is Ainun Abra Dalad, they're both the Dalad. So here we see that when do we say Chiluf? When they're different, not the same, but they have something in common. So if that's the Pshat, Hainzi, Shaykh, Sephatach, and the word Klola, Chiluf, and from Brocha. How could you say Klola is exchange? It's an exchange. And for what? Exchange of Brocha? They have nothing in common with bracha. They're two opposites. So how could you say one is an exchange for the other? So they've explained the beer and them. So the explanation is like this. The unteshed bichlal tzvishin targum munkel tzvishin targum yin yisim yin shalmi. I state in them the difference generally, not always, but generally the difference the way targum munkel explains the psukim and targum yin and also your shalmi is this. The targum munkel is tajde bertel zit chutes shalnika. Targum munkel translates the words according to simple pshat of the words. And he could sell to Ertel of Inyone. And seldom he explains also the Inyan, not only the simple touch of the words, but the simple shot of the Inyan. Over the Targum Yenus of Yerushalmi, he could come and become and became his touch to meet Nordam Shat, but it is amazing beer. But the Targum Yenus and also Targum Yerushalmi, many places, doesn't just translate the words, simple shot, but also explains, gives different explanation. Brent Madrosha Chazal, Dinim Azevite, brings. The drashim and brings dinim, which is not a simple shot of the pot. On the river, therefore, is unkelos was his mafarash with pasha taksuvim. Unkelos, which always explains simple shot of the words in the pot. The targum the word to klolo lavotim. So that's why he teaches the word klolo simple. In Aramaic, lavotim is the simple taich of klolo, the simple taich of klolo, which means a curse. But if you're going to tie the psukim according to the way Chazalukin, which means deeper, it's hard to tie the word Klola here for the curse. The Posik says, Look, I am giving you today what? Brochel Klola. So both of the things come from the Abishter. So how could you say the Abishter is giving? And we have a rule. The mother says, Kala Nason by Yofan Nason. Someone gives a maton that gives something, you give it with a good eye. So how could you say the Abishta who gives with a good eye? Git Azach was the hate from Tabor Brocha. How could you say the Abish gives something bad? Something that's just the opposite of good, the opposite of a blessing. So Fashtandik as Ain Rayed Mumaila, we know there's nothing bad that comes from above. There's a post that says in the PL and they say heroes, bad doesn't come from the Abish from, from above. And we see in the Ha'ora 15. He brings it from Eicha, and then he says, look at the Medrash there, and the Medrash will explain that it means that nothing bad comes from the Eibishter. 
So how could you say a neichi neisim is nich ma'ayim bracha or klala? They wish to give the eibish that is given as a klala. My time is tagmenis and mavayes. Tagmenis in this case is not touching the words, the meaning of the words. Tagmenis is explaining, like we said before, tagmenis and sometimes explains it not only the simple pshat. So he's mavayer as klala domain chilufa. And here the word klala means exchange. The um bites for brachas an exchange of the bracha. The says means like this. Those are the sweta inyan from klala. This that it becomes a klala, the which I'm giving you, and it becomes a klala, is a snit mitzadam and neichin neisim. It's not because the abish is giving a klala. Nor mitzadam a kabel. It turns into a klala because of the receiver, because of the yidin. That means to them was the kabel and shleikah the boy when the receiver of the bracha is not the way he should be. Vert or di bracha edes ikun to anam a kabel. So this bracha before it comes to the receiver, iber gebitin. Really, it starts off in l'mayla by as a bracha. By the time it comes down, since the person who's supposed to receive the bracha is not behaving, so it gets exchanged durch ma'isa makabel through the action of the makabel from bracha to klola. Now it's exchanged from the bracha to klola. And like the ma'isa makabel from tishvah mitzvah Hashem alakecho, bring them and they can bracha. Just like if the person behaves, so it's his behavior in a proper way, brings the bracha. So if you behave in an un- improper way, it changes the bracha that the bracha should turn into klola. That's why he touches it the chilufa in the first pasuk where it says, or the pasuk right after that where it speaks about the neichin neis and davish to give. In the invited the pasuk over, but in the further pasuk where states for nasato he gave a klal al harayvul. It says that the people you should give, not talking about what davish is giving, talking about what you should say, which, what the yidin should do. So it says you should give the klal by harayvul, but dot retzich mitveg on neichin neis and neichin. That is not talking about the davish to gives. He's a chayenus and matagim kibshutem alalat atayim. So they're even talking chayenus and explains it. In simple pshat, which is malatataya, which is poshat curse, because there it could be talking, he's talking, talking about Gashmi, the pale, it's a curse. But when it says a neichin neisin, that curse really is a curse, but it's a curse that is really starts off with a bracha and it's exchanged into a curse because the Eden don't behave. Then the Rebbe says, Rebbe Chalsen, it's glatti, still not so simple. He came as Ogna, the Chilufa, Klola is as Achvas comes with the neighbors, and saying that really the Klola doesn't come from Hashem. Hashem comes as a bracha, it gets exchanged on the way. How could you say that it doesn't come from David? But the only happens through the receiver and he causes it to be exchanged to a klola. How could you say that the ace from Hem Shachaposek, a Nechi Nason, the Nechi Mayim, Brocho Klolo, is fort moving because if you read the Posik, just read simple Posik. I am giving you today Brocho and Klolo. So from that lotion is fort moving. After all, we do understand a diverter, a Nechi Nason, that Tzitzich Echzevort the Klolo. That the word anech I'm giving also comes to the word klola. The frat has a state of Vav Ames, it says uklola, which means I'm the same, I'm giving you a bracha and a klola. So obviously the post is telling us that the klola comes from David. So even though we could explain, Tagmian is explain what it means, it comes from David as a bracha, but then it's exchanged to klola, but it seems that the klola as a klola happens in the middle, on the way, not from David. And the post is mashing that the klola is anech and it comes from anech. Is a beer, but that's the explanation is like this. The fact that you had to translate the Torah into Targum, you translate it from Hebrew, from Lashon Kedesh, to the Lashon Arami, or other Lashonis, the reason was, it came because of Eden. Which means, since Eden were in Golos, and they were Meshubah, they were under the control of the Goyim. In the that brought about the need to translate the Torah. In other words, the Eden were at a lower level and they couldn't understand the Torah the way it's written. So that was the reason why you had to translate it. So this is the general reason why there is such a thing as a translation. But there are two ways how the suffering of Golas is looked upon and how you, you explain it. And that'll be, since there are two ways, that'll bring out the, about the difference between the Targum of Yenison and the Targum of Unculus. A pre Targum Unculus, the Targum from Bovel. Unculus is a Targum that came from Bovel. And Bovel was their Mokima Golos with the Helen of Hester is betaken. The Golos was very strong. The concealment and the godliness was very, very strong there. So there, when the Yisuri Bubgunum and Bizizem is Ufashtis, there be, being people on a lower level. So when they look at the, front, the, the suffering of Golos, they take it in the simple sense. Aninya from Lavot in Klola. They look at it as a Klola because that's what it is. They don't see deeper. They don't, they don't have the Ruchnizdika feeling. So they look at a Klola. So Targum Unculus 
who was speaking to people of Bavel, wrote clearly that this is how they see it. But according to Targum Yenis and Targum Yerushalmi, which are the Targumim, they but they're from Eretz Yisrael. Was dort is nito as I held the hetem sada golas. There, even though it's golas, but it's not the same concealment. It's not as strong as it is in Bavel. So there, zetzich mer begilu dipnimis in bezach. There, you could see more the depth of the thing. Masi mechla now, which fits to what we said before. As a reif na targum is apipid rosha chazal. As we see that, as we said before, that the way targum yenis and also Yerushalmi explained the psukim, it's according to the midrosha chazal. Was I nemegalu dipnimis in terisha b'ksav? The midrosha chazal go deeper. So, since the Targum Yenison in Yerushalmi were in Ertesol for people in Nahaya Madrege, they were in Golas and they needed the Targum, but Nahaya Madrege, so there you could talk to them and explain to them the Sukim ready a little deeper. Because they're Kalim to accept it deeper. They could see things deeper the way the Chazal explained it. And the far Taichin Zeyu, so therefore this Targum of Yenison in Yerushalmi, they translated as Yesuria Golas and Ibemes Chilupa. Since you're Nahaya Madrege and the Golas is not that bad, you see through it. And when you see through it, you see that really the suffering of Golas is really only an exchange. Like we said before, exchange is when two things are from the same category. So there they see it. Only when you look at the real thing and you look deeper, when you get a klola, it's only how this hamshoche of the Eivish comes. It's Change exchange to a klola. Over the kavon of a tachlis of pnimius is teva bracha. There they see that really the reason they wish is giving it, and even the way it comes down as a klola, it's for a good purpose. A bracha is good. A klola seemingly is not good, but if you look deeper, you understand. You could see that even though it comes down in a tzir in the form of a klola, it's still good. But why is it good? He says. And he quotes the post, it was explained in a second, like it says, Hashem made you suffer, made you hungry. And he says, why did Hashem do it? What's the purpose of giving us, making us hungry, making us suffer? So it says, Just like a father sometimes punishes his child, so to the same way Hashem punishes his child. Why does a father punish his child? Because he wants it to become better. So the Ebesh that punishes, in order that this should make it, should happen, and shamartos mitzvahs Hashem alakecha, you shall keep the mitzvahs, and then maviyacha let it stay, but if you keep the mitzvahs, Hashem will bring you into the good land. So it comes out that the reason why there is Yisurim of Golas, if you look deeper, is for a good reason. It's good. It's a broche. If they eat in zone, it's dachach verden, it should be purified. And we should be ready to receive, able to receive the great giluim, great revelations of the gula. So the klole, really, if you don't, Look deeper, you look superficial. It's like, oh, that's bad. And that's how the Eden and Bobo would see it. But if you're in higher Madrega in there to throw with the, the, the helm is not so great, you see Take it looks bad, but you understand the depth of it that really it's a broche. And it's not that was explaining even deeper. And when we say that this is really good, this is only an exchange of the broche, we say it in Loshan's targum, that meat in Loshan We say it in Targum Loshan, which Pshat. Was in Pashtas is in Matorah from Yedet Targum. The Pashtas, the whole reason why we have a Targum is Eich Pshutayam. The purpose is that even the simple people should understand. Was Fashtay and Itke Loshin Kedesh, don't kind of Fashtay on the Torah. But the simple people that don't understand Loshin Kedesh, they should also understand Torah. So when we translate the word the Klolo, that only an exchange of Brocha, because really it is a Brocha now. So who are we saying it to? We're saying it in Loshin Targum. So we're speaking to the simple people, and with them we're telling that. The say that tamp nimi from klol of a gola zok ben nip nor to come into chacham of a chul. This nimi is the reason for the golas and the yisurim and the klol, so to speak. That really it's good. It's to bring out the best in us and to elevate us. We're saying it not only to come into chachamim. Well, so zayat the golas with kipayot of as they feel, and the tamid chacham the golas didn't affect too much anyway. No reicho bik it's a pshutayam. We're mainly saying it to the simple people. Eivem and their helm v'hesterot yivik as they stark as they mus non kumen to targum shim loshim. These are people that the concealment of godliness works so strong that they need a targum that they won't understand the Torah itself, Loshon Kedesh, has to be translated into 70 languages. Even to them, we're able to reveal the real meaning of the Golas and the Yusurim and, so to speak, the Klola, that really it is all for the good. 
So therefore, in the beginning, when it says anoich anoich, this answers the question. The question was, how could you say anoich anoich, I'm giving you kola? Because, and it's an exchange, but the, we said the exchange happened because of the people. So it's not really from, the kola is not really from the Abish text. But the Posik, the Rebbe asked the Shaila, it says anoich anoich. Now we understand. Because the kola is really a bracha. So taka comes from David. The scholar comes from David. It starts with a bracha, but the exchange to a klola, which the same teichon, the teichon of it's a bringing a bracha, and that taka comes from David. Those also by ascholos a parsha of a kitzur teichon, but that's only the beginning. When it's just it's in, 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 in short words, the teichon is give, telling us <clears throat> what he's giving. As heisem as all klolos in your aveda teichon of nachlisa. When we're talking about generally what you're supposed to do, what is the teichon, the content of the aveda, what is the goal of the aveda? Then we'll talk from the tachlis. The Kavani Pnimis Mukolo. Then we're saying the Targum Yenison tells us what is the purpose, not the purpose, and all this of an Inavedah. And he says, you should know that there's a Klola, and the Klola is, seems to be negative, but I'm telling you that it has a good purpose, it'll make you better. It's going to do good for you. Shaz will help everybody that Avedah will fail, but when we're actually doing the Avedah, which is a further Psukim, when Hashem will bring you into the land that he is. It, 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 that he promised that he said he would bring you there to inherit it. Then when we actually start our Aveda, and we start our Aveda, we have to work hard because we have a Yitzhahara, we never have Shabamis, and we have to work that the Nefshabamis and the Yitzhahara should not block out. So we have to work with that. There we have to tell them simple. When we're actually doing and we're dealing with the Nefshabamis, we have to push it in simple words. We have to tell them a lot of Even the Targum Yenison says it's curse. Only if you speak clearly, you could overcome the Yitzhar Hora. If you go clear, in other words, not for the Yitzhar Hora understand, you have to tell them it's a curse. You should know it's bad. Like the Chazal say, it says that the person should always bring an anger against the Yitzhar In other words, you have to speak to the Hora very clearly. You're, like it says in brings in Tanya, it says here, he says you have to scream at the Yitzhahara. You have to speak, so to speak, his language. And to feel, to overcome the Yitzhahara, you have to tell him, this, you're going to get a curse. You have to speak curse. But at you have to know from the forehand that the curse really is a broche because it's going to bring you, make you better. But when you're speaking to the Yitzhahara, that's when it's in the furthest sukkim when it actually tells you what to do. There he says you got to tell the Yitzhahara this is a curse. And that's one of the ways you're going to overcome him and come to the broche that, that, that this is. Is not normal that a ravonet to farleich ten daveid the pnimi. I want to say, and this rebbe is going deeper into this sinya. And he says like this: when the teira says that the klola that I'm giving you is only a chilufa, is only an exchange, as the targum says, this is really good. It's an exchange for the good. It's another way, another shape of the good. So it's not only to make the aveid of yidden easier. Normally, you would think that. Why is he telling us that? A person has suffering, so he thinks it's bad. It's very hard. So we tell him, don't worry. This is only for the good, etc., etc. So let's make it easier. So it's not only for that. This is engaging. This union is like that. It's not only for, like, we make a person feel better. So, and we want him to feel better. It'll make it easier for him to do the Aveda. So we tell him that this is really a chalufa only. We're saying, no, this, the union itself, this is the truth. This is the inyan on its own, even if we wouldn't look to make it easier for him. This is the truth. And the Rebbe explains it like that. The bir to explain what I just said now, that this is itself the truth, that this is exchange for bracha. Pnimius, ubahagdim. It's an introduction. According to simple pshat of the post. And that's how he explains it. He met the shabbo. Do, gate, or neich, neisen, fakadosh baruch. Who is the one that's giving? Who's saying neich, neisen? In other words, it's not like Meshach Rabbein is saying, I'm giving you the Baruch HaKola. It's the Eivishter. That's, that's how the Posh of Shad. Chorish tells you the Shad, but then there's a question. The Baal has a Neichi Neisen. The Baal, who's giving it a Neichi? The Eivishter. But we know the Eivishter, sometimes we call, we refer to him Melokim, sometimes we refer to Navaya, and sometimes it's the Loshin is a Neichi. So we know what it says. Is, the word a Neichi is Hecher from Shemes. It's the level of the Eivishter beyond any name. Nafila from the Eitz, Kates, even if it's it's even higher than a letter, than a target, a, a point, because on the post, it says by Martin Taylor, the Zayar, the Zayar says the Colossian Azayar, the Zayar says that the word of is higher than Havaya and Alekecho, because a shame, a name, 
no matter how great it is, is a description. And then he describes. There is the level of the Ebrish the Be'etzim that we use behind, beyond any description. So there's no word for it. You can't put it in a word. You can't put it in any letter. You can't put it in any symbol. So what is it? Anoichi. I. And the lotion is Anoichi Misha Anoichi. I who I am I. And you can't describe it. It's Achtas Shuta, The true Achtas of the Ebrish So when it says here Anoichi Nason, I'm giving the Brochel Klaal, it says Anoichi. So it's referring to this high level of Anoichi. So we shaykh to say that from the Abdus Abshutas will come and able to the second day from Amshokha, from Kola, which is Chilufa. The Ebrish is Anoichi. Anoichi is Achdus. Achdus is one. Here we're saying that from him comes two things. It could be a Brocha and a Kola. And we're saying that this Kola is really a Chilufa in exchange for the Brocha. So it's like divided, starts Chashon being divided into simple parts. And you know that if it says Anoichi, it goes on Achdus, Pshutas, and the Achdus, the M is a unity of the Ebrish so how do we say that from the unity of the Ebrish there comes out two things? Is the Rinyan in them out, Berach Amavur B'makamacha, so the Pshat is, this is a deep Rinyan in Exodus. It's going to be, I'm going to just read it and explain, translate what it says here, but you got to really think about it to understand what it means. It says in other places, as Emes Epshito Zok Tzicharu Yisdat Kin Yishalkes, the true simplicity, which means the true Achdus, expresses itself in a lot of his halkis and a lot of a lot of divisions. Which means the shas etzema poshut vetnis gali ribi kavim. If there is poshut, poshut means simplicity, simple, agdas is one. But when it comes out of there in different kavim, bifrat when they zain hofkim, especially when they're opposites, those gufes the hechra chazer is nitin tsuir mukdin kenshin tsuir betere chasasholam. That's the proof that it comes from somebody who is not limited to anything. Whether he's poshut betachos apshitus, and he's completely poshut, but the ribes are nefarim ech di kavim rabim behofchem kemeni ani. Therefore, all the different kavim is no doesn't doesn't show any not lacking. In other words, when you say something is poshut, it means it's the source of everything. If it's not poshut betachos, not achdus, it means it's something has a certain limit. Aldus apshut the pshitus aatznos. Pshitus means it's simple. That means it has no specifics. If for some reason from there has to come out something specific, since the originate originate from a level which no specifics, so it has to come out in all kinds of specifics. Because if it'll come out only in one kav, that means it's a limitation. And since it comes from something which is not limited, so if it does have to come out in a limited form, it'll come out in a form which has so many ways, and even opposites. Because if it's going to come out only in one way, it's going to be as if, oh, so there's a limitation to its source, for it came out only in one way. So it says in Teir, Aschai, different, it's a deep, different in the Chesidus. We have to, you have to look into it, and learn a lot of my modern in order to understand it. But this is in the Kuda, that if something is really poshut, it comes out, like just as an example, the colors, there are seven colors or whatever it is. Then there is the color, it says white. It doesn't mean really white. It means white like like water, like like glass. That's the gavanatsmi. That's it says the the poshut, the gavan poshut, the color that's poshut. And from that could come out all colors. If from that could would come out only one, that means that the source from where it comes is also limited to that one. We come only red, because the source is not limited to red or green or black. So when it comes out, it could come out to everything. And not only stam everything, many things, but the opposite because it's not limited to anything. So there's nothing there. So we said, now, when do we really see this comes from Atmos, if it has opposite? So therefore, if only from the, if only from the Ebesh, from the Neichim, it come only a Broche. So it's only one Kav. It's lacking the fact that we, we should see in it that this is Achdas Apshutta, because it only comes out to one limited thing. By the fact that it comes out, when it's Nizgala, it comes out, not only that, but also in Chilufa, also in the opposite. Kum tu is as amshochas al akus lamata through them kav. So the fact that it comes out through the kav, the opposite kav, is kev yochel hecher and tifer with the amshoch and the neifim for bracha v'tei begoli. That's higher. That shows a higher level than the amshoch of bracha. Why? Amshoch of bracha, you would imagine that from David it comes out of bracha, but nevertheless, it comes out to one kav. That means doesn't show really that it's unlimited, that it's poshut. But if it comes out also to the other cup, that's when we see that it really comes out from the etzim of the Eibishter. So it comes out, where do we see 
that the Amshokh that comes from David is the Amshokh from Anoichi. You see it when it comes out in the opposite way. But those is massing the Denver that Al Trebe is Mavaya, the Sigma Nachai. This fits to what Al Trebe explains in a different style. As Pnimius Inyana Yisurim is Prina Stephen Almond Yaskasia. For Yutkev Shamavaya. It says that when a person has to show that Yisurim, the Pnimius of the Yisurim is because it's very good. But it's good that it comes from a high level called Almond Yaskasia, a level which is very high. And therefore, it's hidden from coming down. And it's such a high level of good that it comes from Almond Iskasia, which it says in Shemavaya, there's Yudke and Vovke. Yudke is Almond Iskasia, Vovke is Almond Iskalia. So this, when it comes in Yisurim, it really is from a very high level, but it's a level that's hidden, which means hidden from us. Was his Hechef and Teva Goloi, which is higher than the revealed, because it's so high it can't come down in a simple way, the way it is, because we're not caring for it. This is such a high level of chesed. Chesed which is hidden, that can't come down in the form of open chesed because it's too strong. So there he says that in these words, that the Yisurim, which sometimes a person suffers, comes from a higher level, really is good from Alma Diskasia, the highest level. And the Rebbe is saying here the same thing. When it comes down as a form of klola, which is the Yisurim, it really represents the fact that it comes from a level which is not limited to a broche. It could be either way. This is the deeper pshat, what it says in the Pesach, that the one Hashem loves, he's the one that he punishes. What does that mean? Because this union that Hashem loves you, the great love and the great connection, closeness, that there is of the Eivish Tevet Nimshech in Aifim Pun Yechiyach, when it comes down in the form of Yechiyach, the punishment means Chasodim Nistorim hidden, Chesed, that's the higher Madrek Yivorim, Chesed, the goal is Chetzein Yisach Chesed. If you really have Chesed, that doesn't come from the highest level. So it's limited to Chesed, and then you get Chesed. When you get opposite of Chesed, that's Chasodim HaMechusim, and it's a higher level. So Meila, who gets it? Somebody who the Eivish cares more about, somebody the Eivish loves more, he'll give him this higher level of Chesed. This explains even more the reason why Yisurim are similar things. That look like they're a curse, then they're called exchange. Now this brings deeper to the question we asked before. How is it an exchange? The two opposite things. They're not. But the few AMS ain't a broches. Like Dal Trevis says, in truth, these clothes are broches. It's only the, and it's not on, and they are even higher than broches. That are revealed. She's nor chilufa. It's an exchange, meaning an iberbite in the ifane hashpoa. It's an exchange in how the hashpoa comes down. But also the farbal b'shorshem zayin is a hechaf of kasadim gluim. Why did they get exchanged to a klola? Because in sheirish, where it comes from, it's higher than chasadim gluim. So really, this is chesed, but higher than chasadim gluim. And that's why this all explains even more why it could fit to anoichi. Not only, like we said before, that because even the klola is really a bracha, so it could fit to anoichi. Now we're saying more. That this is not a bracha because it'll bring you to good and it'll bring you to the tshuva. This is be'etzim a bracha. The klola is really a bracha in the highest form, which is hidden. That's why we don't see it. And it looks to us as a klola. That's why when the Pesach wants to tell you in the beginning what he's giving you, the Targum Taich is a chilufa. This is an exchange for bracha. An exchange, in other words, almost like saying, I don't know if the Rebbe uses the, means this, an exchange from the bracha to be a higher bracha. Still now we're saying it's an exchange from bracha to klola. Now we're saying it's an exchange. It's really the same bracha, but in a higher level. From a higher, from a higher level, and it comes down in the form of klola, which looks like that. But in order that this high bracha should be nizgala, because lapel, what you're saying now, it's, this high bracha is not nizgala. It comes down in the form of a klola. But it's shayrish, and we know betzim is higher. In order that the gilu you should turn, you should see that this is a very high bracha. We should physical, with our physical eyes, see this is kindness. That comes by Yidin, knowing and recognizing you have to recognize that these Yisurim, these suffering, are really hidden chasodim that come from Beivishter. And therefore, a yid would be, it says that the person should be happy with Yisurim. 
What makes the Eden happen to Yisurim? Because you realize that this Yisurim really is the best that you could get at the highest level. So in order that you should exchange and take a turn into good, you have to feel that the Yisurim are good and be happy. That if you do that, then this, the high level will take it become high. That high level will come back at the Goli Brochus. And it'll be the same high as Brochus, but originally it couldn't come down in the form of Brochus. It comes in the form of Yisurim. But if you realize that this is really high Brochus, that itself, that you recognize that, makes the day that Megalit that you really get the best, the Goli. Al Piana was moving the Yisurim, the Shaykh has switched the Parsha, and the Parsha. Based on this, we'll understand more the connection between the Parsha and the Haftarah, the Eich mit the Haftarah from Shivat and Nechem Zabachal, with this Haftarah this week, and also with the all, all Haftarahs. We know there are seven weeks from Tisha B'Av to Rosh Hashanah, the Haftarahs are all in the Gei and Nechomet, they're called Shivat and Nechem, the seven weeks, seven Haftarahs of Nechomet. So we will see the connection of what we just said to the union of the Nechomet. And this is how the Rebbe explains. In the Haftarahs, that's the Rebbe, the Nechomet, with the Rebbe, that I lay the taste in the Eden, and the Aftarah talks about the, the comfort that the Ebishter himself is going to comfort the Eden. And it says in the form, how will the comfort? The Lotion is, I, I am the one that comforts you. Just twice the word Anoichi. And we said before, Anoichi is a very high level. That means, a higher level than Bamatan Teire. Which is state Emal and Eich. Matan Teira was a level of an Eich. Like we said before, the Zayah says an Eich such a high Madrig, and that was in his Galib and Matan Teira. And here, by the Nechom of the Eibish, to the Eden, after the Churm, after the Golas, is double that. And Isaiah back in the Aftarah is Giret, back in the Grace of Hashpo, or Aftarah of Lais Yisrael. Also, there's a Posig in the Aftarah which says the Eibish is going to give not good, Raftay, a lot of good to the Eden. Nit Kartayf Stam, not simple Kray. Was making Fintus Nit. You don't find it in the other updates. Here we see something special. But the fact that Tam Darfun is, why Take will it be such a great deal and such great good? The reason is, in the Mizman and Shivit and the then Nisgala the Chasodim Amakusit. In the seven weeks of Nechome, of comfort, comfort for the Golas. Uh, the Golas is Yisurim. So the time of the Golas, the Gilu, it was Yisurim. But we said before, the Yisurim are really from Abrocha, really the Chasodim Amakusim. So in the three weeks, then they're hidden. It's chasodim amachus, a very high level. The yisurim we have, but you can't see. It looks like yisurim. The shiva and is the time when it becomes nizgale. The chasodim amachusim, the hidden chasodim, was ein and given behalten in the gimel de premisa that were hidden in the three weeks of punishment. In the mizman from bein amitzorim, in the time of the three weeks bein amitzorim, that was then it was hidden because it represents the churban. And then Shiva and the and the Chomer is to reveal the truth of what is there in the punishment in the Yisuri. But in Kanal, because as we said before, to live Zayir Hechad and Shadish, because they're in the higher level, higher source, but Mazayir Tebe Chesed in Gizen often a hate. Therefore, the goodness that's there in the three weeks in the Churban, we couldn't see. And it's such a high level that it's hidden. In a simple way and superficially, it looks like it's punishment. And it's made so that's why it's called the Nam Tzorim. On the roof, to is And the seven weeks is that this higher level of good comes to the Not only there will be no more bad and there'll be good, we will see the truth, we feel the truth in the bad, which is really the Chasodim Amachusim, it'll be Nizgal. And that's the idea of the Shivit and the Chemte. So this beer that we're saying here in the beginning of the Parsha that the, the Klola is really a Broche, but it's a higher level. But we are able to bring it down that the Klola, which is really a brocha, but it's hidden, should become this gala. We should see the brocha, and that is by us recognizing it. That's what Shivit and the Chemte is, and that's the connection, Shivit and the Chemte, that there we see it's Megala. That's the Nechom, Anoichi, Anoichi, that it comes from Anoichi, like over here, Anoichi, and higher even, twice Anoichi, it's going to come from that, we'll see the Gilui of the good. And they to say that when Eifna Gilui from the Chesodim is Murumas in Yafteris, and also the order and how this Gilui will come. Is also hidden in the Haftarahs. The Miuchad in Haftarahs Parshasenu and Niyah Sora Le Nachomis. Mainly the Iker in the Haftarah of Parshas Re'ei, where the Pesach says and Niyah Sora Le Nachomo, which means that the Eden who are excited and poor are not comforted, and they wish to continue later. And he says and Eichad Eichel Machemchem. And then we will explain the Hemshech of the with the Abu Raham explains the Hemshech of the seven Haftarahs by the first Psukim. And this will fit to what we said before. And he says like this, 
The Avodah brings from Eder Shatam La Aftaris from the Shivan and the for the Sidra. Avodah Ram brings a reason for these seven Aftaris and what is the order, why this one comes first, etc., etc. Et and he goes like this. In the Eresh Tar Aftaris, Ogdi Rebbe Shet Tzid Nevi'im, Nachmu Nachmu Ami. Rebbe Shet says to the Nevi'im, Nachmu Nachmu Ami. You shall comfort, shall comfort my nation. Azeya Lein's own face in Yidin. Rebbe Shet tells the Nevi'im, you comfort the Yidin. That's the first update. That's how it starts. If them come the answer for Knesset Yisrael Betzoyter Aftaira, then come the second Aftaira, which is an answer of what the Yidin are answering. Batoimer Tzion as Avani Avaya. Tzion, which is the Yidin, is saying, Hashem dropped me, Hashem forgot, left me. As Azan HaChom to the Nevi'im is Bazei Kilo Be Azvani Avaya. If only the Nevi'im are going to comfort us, that means the Ebesh they forgot about us. Not good. They will not in the Chomas will come and Nidruch Nevi'im, they're for the Ebesh not laying. Eden safe. You forgot about us. We don't want, that's not on the Chomer. We want the Ebesh to give us in the Chomer. That's, so that's the first two. Shaz the Nevi'im give Nibba the Ebesh in the, in the Dritta Raftere. As Ani Yosara Le Nechama. The third Raftere is, starts with the words Ani Yosara Le Nechama, which means the Eden are not comforted. This is what the Nevi'im are telling the Ebesh. Okay, the first update is they they said to him comfort the Eden. Second Avaya starts with the word Eden says, No, 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 this is Hashem is dropping because we need Hashem. The third update says that the Nevi'im turned to Hashem and he says, You know, the Eden are not comforted. The fourth of them, the Abish Tarim, the fifth uh fifth and after the son, the fourth update the Abish answers, and he says, Yes, you're right. Yes, I I will comfort you. They complain, they want Abish and he says, Yes, I will do it. As a Nemton say it fear, he accepts their complaint. And he says he himself will not comfort them. Now that he said, I, I will comfort you, now come the two comforts, because the is doubled. Come to next after the fifth one is Ronia Korala Yeloda, which is a certain level of comfort. And this the sixth one is Kumi Eri Kiva Erich. Was that's another level of comfort, but those Zayin and the Chomets, but the Rebbe Shalayin Zok Tzidin, the Rebbe Shalayin himself said this. In other words, he started off by saying to the Nevi'im, "You give two comforts, Nachmu Nachmu, two comforts." Yidden said, "We don't want," and they came to the Rebbe said, "They don't want." Rebbe says, "They're right. I will give it." And then the next two, he took a gift too. And they read the seventh one, and this answered Nasi Tzidin on the Zibat and after so Yidden answered the seventh after says, "Os is Bavaye." The first pasuk is, "We are happy." By on the Ebishter, as it's now them with the Ebishter, I'll lay in trace. Now that the Ebishter himself has comforted them with the sixth, with the fifth and the sixth, which is Roni Akor and Kumi Eiri, he says, Sos is Vavaya, Togol Nafshi Belakai, I will be happy in the Ebishter, my nephew will be happy in the Ebishter, Ebishter Batsme. Yeah, now we're happy with the Ebishter. This is the order that the Abudraham says is of the seven of Taylor. The Bahura Nit Fashtandi. Who not understood? The Ebishter Hidea Hakeva de Asidis. The Ebishter knows everything, knows the future. So he knew that the Nechama that he gave through the Nevi'im will not be accepted by the Yidin. And then will be, that he will have to do it himself. He'll have to come to himself. Why did he wait with his comfort? Till the Yidin came and complained that Hashem dropped, Hashem forgot us, Hashem left us. Why did he wait for that? He knew that he's going to come to it anyway. Now is moving. Now we'll understand this. The Baldas is the Zman was kumt nor the Yeri big day of Yisak and Tisha. Well, since we're talking about these seven weeks, and we said before these that this is the comfort. That means the Aliyah, the elevation that we get after what happened Tisha, which is the Yeri going down to the lowest level. Can the Yeri resign as Eden zones? If I can look in them, then the Chomadur can be. And since Eden went down, fell down so low, so it's possible that they would be satisfied with the comfort of the Nevi'im. The fact that the Nechama would get flying, especially it's a double Nechama. In other words, if they're so, they're so bad off, so even if it's not the Tachlis, the best would be from the Ebesh. This is not, this is from the Nevi'im. Maybe they would be satisfied. Better than what we have, at least there is some kind of Nechama, and it's a double Nechama. Oh, well, them will main this. If that Eden would be satisfied, it would mean, as Eden Neman on the Peronius of Enish Kekola Lachma Rachman. It would mean they feel the Kola, they feel the Yusurim, they feel the Golas, they feel it's bad. And therefore, so the roof is mastic in the Chomis and the Vim. If they're in a bad situation, so any little good is good. So therefore, they would be satisfied maybe with the comfort of the Nevim. Because they would feel that it's bad, so let's take what we can. And they wouldn't feel Unitas in their Pronius, Gufi, Sarborgen, Aches, and Naila. And it's possible that they would not feel that in the bad, in the punishment is hidden 
a very high level of chesed. It comes from the Mevish Nalein. It comes from the Mevish himself. So that if so they would if it's so normally it's possible that they would be satisfied. The Balder, but as not the Nachama from the Nevi'im. Tain and even as the Bani Avayiv Adne Shachoni. But now that we said that after the Nevi'im gave the comfort, they said no, we're not satisfied. As Nit Nor is thus far as they need Maspik. They're saying not only is it not enough. No Nachama as the Bani Avayiv Adne Shachoni that shows that they wish to have left me. But he's Abavayiz as even Vaisen and Phil not the Peronius for Yerid is no Rechilufa. That shows that they do recognize and they do feel that this bad, the 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 yisurim, the peronias, the punishment, is really only an exchange, as we said before, for the good. Which means, really, not only exchange for the good because it has a good purpose, but it's sheirish is the best. It shows that's really really chesed. They're hidden chesedim. And the far tainas they gave the nechama al yanevi, and that's why. And the Nevi'im gave the Nechama because they recognized that this is all really good. So when the Nevi'im came with the Nechama, they said to them like this, Need dos is gila pnimis ha-kavonah from Golis. We know that there is a kavonah pnimis in Golis. And in Golis it's higher. So you're telling me now it's your Megala what the Golis is. And what are you telling me? The Nechama of the Nevi'im. It's not like that. From Geid Laparonis is Muchach Adazayin Chasadim Nailam B'yeser. Since the, 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 the Yisurim are so bad, that shows that it's from a very high Shadish. They recognize that the, the chasodim that's there is only from David. The if they wouldn't recognize that, they just maybe even know that the chasod, that it's that's bad, and now they're gonna get good. So any good that they'll get is fine. But since we're saying they're recognizing that this golis is the MS Chasodim Khusim, and they recognize that the bad goal, how bad it is, it shows that it's a very high level. That means it comes from David himself. So then, the Nechama has to come from David. That's what they're complaining. So that's why it seems like the answer is David know, knows what's going to happen. But Lepel, what David wanted, they should express in feeling that they feel that if it's not from David himself, it's not the right thing. And when, can they, when do they express that? If they feel that the Golis is from such chasodim and so high that the revelation of that, which is the Seven de- weeks of, of Nechama, the revelation of that has to be from David himself. If the revelation is not from David himself, that's not really the revelation of what the real Golis is. So, by them complaining, this is the way they're expressing their recognition that the Golis and its hardships and the Yusurim is all from David himself. It's Chasodim Hamachusim deep down from David. And the Akkad of Yediyah Gufa, Ruf Taruizim Giloi. And now, as we said before, that when you recognize that, that brings out uh, the Gilui should become good. The Rebish, there is Maskim and Zayat Taina. The Rebish, there agrees to their complaint. I didn't know how to learn Nevi'im is not Maskim, that the comfort to the Nevi'im is not enough. And that's why they said, Aniyo Soro, and the Nevi'im, like I gave it over to the Rebish, Aniyo Soro, they feel not comforted. And the Rebish, like I says it. That was the Gilui, he says it's from the Rebish, and the Rebish himself. These are the Zayish Lemus, until the way this is going to be. Completely to the fullest extent in the Gula Amitis Vashleman, the true and complete Gula, but down that Nazembe Gilu Bain the Bosser at the Hasodin for Nevishin, that Nazembe Gilu Bain the Bosser, the Hasodin for Nevishin, Teva Nirvanibo. Then we will see the Chesed of Nevishin, the highest level of Chesed in a revealed way. But how do we come to it? By us recognizing that the Golas and the Yisurim really comes from David. And the worse the Golas is, the higher level it is. That's why they want Neiche and Neiche.